Inuk Silence for being a company that can sell pretty good stuff for a price tag that you wouldn't expect. Take their M705D air cooler. That, that thing is so dirt cheap and it can keep up with a 7700X. Not bad at all. But hey, they also make fans. So for today we are going to have a look at their XPF 120W ARGB or XF064. Yay, they, they still have many names. An XFP120 ARGB fan comes in an incredibly simple packaging, mostly white with a big of black to keep everything well inside Xilinx style. Depending on the fact if you have the black or white version, cause yes there is also a black version, depending on which one you got you might or might not get this incredibly cool looking sticker which definitely wasn't glued on there after the fact. On the back side we have some specs to which we... Okay, no, no, let's do it now. The website says that the fan pushes 70 CFM, well my box says 68.2. The website says that the fan yells between 18 and 32.5 dB. My box says 18 and 30.2. The website says that the fan has a 400 mm long cable. And then it says 440. My box says it's just 440. And my ruler confirms. No, all jokes aside, the, they definitely need to address this and correct all of the issues, but the bigger issue I have is that nowhere it gives you any indication about static pressure. Is it 1 mm of H2O, so a case fan, or is it 3, like heat sink radiator? I don't know, nowhere does it mention that, though after a bit of research I found out that Xilinx AIO, the XC978 in white, seems to be coming with exactly those fans. Not the black one though, those have quicker spinning fans. The white one has 1500 RPM versions, because that makes any sense. But what does make sense now is what we will find inside the box. Instead of just including a bunch of fan screws, we also got a pair of radiator screws, which is, which is kinda great, but without any indication of static pressure, I just kinda don't think anybody would even consider trying them. Anyway, the fan itself is surprisingly well made. The outer frame is relatively sturdy, I can give it a bit of a flex, but not too much. I would consider this to be a tiny bit behind an Arctic P12. On each edge of the frame on both sides, we got a thick piece of rubber meant to remove any sorts of vibrations. As Skyn already mentioned before, there are two 440mm long cables coming out of the fan, a 4-pin PVM for speed control and a 3-pin ARGB one to make this thing shine, cause yes, having ARGB in the name is not only like a marketing buzzword, it actually lights up. And on that note, it lights up surprisingly well. Considering the price and target audience, the LEDs that are in here are a lot brighter than I expected. The light travels nicely over the milky plastic wing until it reaches the outer frame and even if the room is a bit lit up, you can still clearly see the rainbow unicorn poop show. According to the spec sheet, <laughs> the one on the box, not the website, we are looking at a 120mm form factor fan spinning at up to 1500 RPM whilst pushing 68.2 CFM at god knows how much millimeters of H2O. Yeah, that's, it's just annoying. And while spinning at max speed, the fan is supposed to be yelling at up to 30.2 dVA. Now, something I found a bit weird about the fan is the wing design. Initially, when I did all of my benchmarks, I was convinced that this is a case fan only. The box says so, and the nine short and slightly bent wings strongly suggest that. But now I have found out that these models, these specific models, are being used on one of their AIOs, I'm not so sure anymore. Maybe we will find out, at, at some point I will maybe get my hands on that particular AIO, but for today we still use them in our side or hybrid test. While letting them cool down our Ryzen 3700X inside of our usual test setup, the Xilinx XPF120 ARGB managed to keep the CPU at 59.1 degrees C above ambient. This positions it right into the center of all of our other raw case fans. Asia Horse 9002 Pro, Be Quiet Silent Wings 4 PVM and all of these perform just slightly better than Xilinx's XPF fans. NFS 12A, Arctic F12 were a bit behind. However, one thing that immediately stood out is that the XPF 120s are spinning significantly faster than any fan in their range and this was reflected heavily in our noise to performance chart. 
Although they followed the usual path for case fans, which is at least they are quiet, and then they abruptly thermal throttle. The XPF 120s were not so quiet and they died off significantly faster than most other ones. Looking at it with brutal honesty, they were one of the loudest fan while keeping the CPU at a higher temperature than almost any other case fan. And then they died off. The only fan that truly lost in a head-to-head -head comparison was Arctix F12, which really isn't anything worth celebrating for because until this day I have not yet found a single use case in which an Arctic airflow focused fan performs better than the static pressure P12. So where does this leave us? Well, not in a very good spot. And, and that's really unsatisfying, including goodies wise, Xynos really scored some points here. Considering the price tag, I did not expect to have included radiator mounting screws. The build quality was also nice, not excellent by any means, but still far above things like Asia Horse 9002 Pro or Spectre SE. The RGB scored some points too, again, considering the price tag, those are surprisingly bright and everything is controllable using a 3-pin ARGB header. Everything seemed to be going fine in the beginning, but the performance just didn't match with the overall quality of the fan. They utterly lost in a hybrid test in both max and noise to performance, all while they were barely able to beat something like a badly performing F12. Kinda disappointing. The only thing that they really got going is their price tag. Those things are going for roughly 8 euros, which is really not a lot. However, if you really need to have ARGB and you are still trying to keep the price tag as low as possible, Arctix P12 0dB ARGB are going for 12. And saving 4 euros per fan just doesn't seem to me like enough money to go from this line to this line. So no, we are, we are not recommending the XPF 120s as a case fan. Maybe they are good as radiator fans, who knows, but I kinda doubt it. Knowing that the line between a good case fan and a good radiator fan is far thinner than most people think, I sincerely doubt that. But okay, this should be it for Xylance and their XPF 120s in white. Although they didn't end up to be um, very positive, still a huge thank you to them for sending these out. But if you want to keep watching, have a look at our take on the M705 cooler, still one of my favorites. On a side note, we now also have channel membership, so if you're looking for a good way to say your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to take care of the medical bills that will inevitably start showing up, because we are planning to introduce a fan finger test. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.